The storms are not over yet. Thanks for letting us know there. Time now, 1115 on your Wednesday morning. It's also time for today's In the Know. We're talking all about Camp Possible. It's a summer camp for youth with epilepsy in central and northwest Illinois. Back for the first time since the pandemic. And not only does it give kids and teens the chance to feel included, but it's a bonding experience that brings the magic of camp to those who may not normally take part. Sharing more about this chance is Executive Director of the Epilepsy Advocacy Network, Carrie Jones. Carrie, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right, let's talk first a little bit about what Camp Possible is and mm -hmm. how it sets itself apart. Absolutely. So it's going to be taking place June 18th through 20th, so coming up next month. Uh, many people know Timber Point as the Easter Seals Camp, and we will be participating with that group but with our own separate group of youth who have epilepsy as a way for them to be able to bond, to be around people who aren't going to judge them if they have a seizure while at camp. It just makes it a lot more relaxing and fun for them knowing that other people who are there understand their experience. Absolutely. And this is a bit of a hiatus you're returning from here. How exciting is it to bring it back? Oh, it's so exciting. This last year we were just hoping and hoping we were going to be able to pull it off and this partnership with Timber Point made it possible. So we're very excited about that. Excellent. Let's talk a little bit about some of the activities too because mm -hmm. there are all kinds of camps out there. But obviously when people think summer camp, there's a lot of classical imagery I think that comes yeah. to mind. Is that sort of in line with what this is as well? It is. There's a lot of wonderful activities that you might associate with camp. Things like kayaking, horseback riding, giant swings that go out over the, the lake uh, at Lake Bloomington. So it's all done too with safety precautions in place for all kinds of disabilities. Um, so it's really just an excellent opportunity for those who've wanted to participate in those kind of things but haven't been able to before. I love that. Let's also talk a little bit about the Epilepsy Advocacy Network. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're supporting this whole camp and the reason why it's happening in the first mm -hmm. place. Let's talk about some of the work that you do and some of the ways that you benefit those with epilepsy. Mm -hmm. So we do work with people of all ages who have epilepsy. Camp is geared toward youth but we do cases management for people of all ages. Epilepsy can occur, it can show up in someone's life at any stage. Some children, uh, that's when they, when they get epilepsy, sometimes it's in the older years or right there in the middle. So we're there for people any step of the journey. Um, a lot of times people don't know all the resources that are out there for those with epilepsy um, and they might suffer longer than they need to with uh, frequent seizures. So we like to try to get people referred to us as quickly as possible so we can make sure that they are getting the proper medical attention. And epilepsy is a lot more than just seizures. There's a lot of psychosocial impacts as well that we can help out with. And so we do support groups. We'll do things like different types of groups that can help with mental health and with things that are offshoots of epilepsy, like memory issues and things like that. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned, you know, especially with these kids and teens that will be taking part in the camp, sometimes they can feel maybe a little bit more isolated. What does mm -hmm. it mean for you personally to be leading this charge and helping make this happen? It's really uh, near and dear to my heart. My passion is empowering people to be able to live their healthiest life, and that's really the 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 way we try to do things we're not trying to be a crutch we're trying to be a step up for people who have epilepsy and so it's really cool to be a part of that uh, quite a few of our staff and other people in my life do live with seizures or have had um, seizures in the past and so being able to be part of that link that makes sure that there's the people we're working with don't have those same struggles that mm -hmm. some of them had trying to find the resources, trying to get connected to the education. We want to be there for them right there. And then. Yeah, well, this is a special opportunity, no doubt, Carrie. And uh, by the way, spots are limited for registration. We got some information up on your screen right there, $100 a person. We've also got the dates and the location. We're talking about Timber Point and the phone number and URL that you can check out. Again, time is limited there, so make sure that you get your name down. Carrie, this is an amazing cause. Thank you so much for coming in and talk about it. Thank you for helping us bring awareness. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, if you or someone you know at home would like to join us on In The Know, go to 25newsnow.com slash community, click the tab and submit the form. And of course, we've got that uh, controversial candy-related poll question to talk about in just a little bit.